Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Rose of Venus Tarot. It's Lacey. Thank you so much for clicking on to my video. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you get real comfortable. If you're returning, hey, welcome back. It's real nice to see you again. And thank you to all of those who like, comment and subscribe. It's really been helping me grow and I 1000% appreciate you guys. And thank you to those who join my members only, the super thanks, all of those. I 1000% appreciate that. You can check out the description box. If you would like to be a part of that, let's get into it. This is going to be a general collective energy reading so please take what resonates and leave the rest behind not every reading will resonate with every one divine please protect me and please guide me as i tap into this collective energy and spare ribs please give me clear and concise and precise messages the channel let us know what you want to hear right now meaning you're welcome to speak but you're not welcome to possess me <laughs> right off the bat i do feel like there are different people in your energy field the main message i'm getting is somebody is trying to figure out where your next location is or somebody's trying to figure out where you're going to be vacationing specifically around pride okay some of you guys might be going to pride or some sort of festival or concert and whatnot this person wants to show up there maybe whether you guys are gay or not you might be going with your loved ones or supporters or just cuz and whatnot and somebody wants to show up there on you i don't know if they want to lead you somewhere or they just want to flex on you or maybe they're gonna have their people with them they want to press you like on i don't know somebody is very obsessed with you and envious of you too somebody could have been trying to spread rumors about you to try to lessen the guilt they have for coming at you in such a way as well somebody also could be trying to dominate you i don't know it's like this person has a love hate energy for you it's it's weird it's i don't know they could be overly competitive with you they want to figure out and some of you guys you know you you ride alone and whatnot that in itself could be offensive to some people especially when they don't know how to be by themselves they're like why do you know how to be by yourself yourself and do certain things you know there are also people who want a chance to shoot their shot at you they feel like you're not answering your dms or anything online but they feel like if they could catch you out and about they would have a better chance at coming up into your energy field but a lot of you guys are looking real good right now you're looking real gorgeous and this is catching people's eyes Spirit, please tell me more. What else is the... Oh, why is this... There's love cards in here. Oh, and these were supposed to be in... You know, I'll take them just because they're not even supposed to be in here. We got mission, weight, and surprise. Okay, somebody could be also wanting to surprise you somebody wanted you to wait on them and they're mad because you don't live your life like surrounding them you're not really concerned on what they're doing in life like this person i don't know it's like this person oh we got cyber bully to cop coming out you're being bullied online or they're ha or they are suffered from it i don't feel like necessarily you guys are being bullied online i feel like some of you guys might get a lot of attention online and this person 
feels like you only get attention online. They feel like you're not that cool in person. They want to try to prove that you're not that cool. Maybe they want to create some sort of viral moment with you that they could put online. Some of these people, I'm not going to lie, they might want to fight you and then have that video. They want you to pull them into your world because they feel like you got a lot of options. Whether you care for these options or not, they feel like you got a lot of options. They feel like you get a lot of attention. They want to be able to have some sort of moment with you that you talk about online so that it could give get them the same type of attention that you get. They want people like, I don't know, who's a part of your circle and your following to follow them, to look at them. Like they want you to at them. They want you to say crazy stuff so they could be like beefing with you to have the type of attention you get. Some of them are like on a real mission to do this. Yeah, some people feel like you're like semi-famous. They want some sort of viral moment with you to be able to talk about you. A lot of you guys, you get more, you know, you get a lot of attention, but I feel like a lot of you guys feel like the attention you get that every, is like everybody get. You feel like every other female is, is being told they're beautiful or being stopped and stared at or being hunted down or they got multiple guys liking their pictures or trying to get with them. That's not the case here. Not A lot of women do, but not this person. This person, it's the, the way they carry themselves and the way they are, they have to go out their way to get attention. And a lot of them don't have that, that, I don't know, some of you guys got high levels of estrogen or high levels of testosterone, as I always say, either that or you got some sort of unique style that catches people's eyes. Like they, even if like they might rock the same style, they're like, oh, okay. So she got her hair red. I'm going to put my hair red. And then they go and they get something like I'm seeing just a bad red wig, like bad part. Like, and it looks artificial when you do your red hair, you might do the baby hairs. Maybe you also color match it to your style. You guys see it took me a minute to find the right style to go with this blonde. I'm like, okay, I need brighter colors. <laughs> Oh, I can't do dark choker, all of that. But some of you guys put consideration into these things that this person doesn't. And this really angers them. They look at you like, whoa, like, like, and you don't, and the fact you don't even appreciate it is another thing. They want to be able to steal that type of spotlight. We got love triangle hair third party multiple lovers choices okay there could be a third party that's jealous of you and they want to emulate your style some of you guys also have a couple that wants you that's been coming out a minute you guys might have another female that wants to try to befriend you and then they kind of want to try to convince you like to have a threesome they want to get you drunk they want to i don't know uh want you to be a third and then some of you guys might have a third party that's jealous of you because they might have their man <laughs> still attracted to you like their man might bring you up this they could have an open relationship and their man might be asking well what happened to the um the collective the collective look good like you know and blah 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 blah. that or somebody could have found pictures in their man phone of you and they really hate you because they know their man wants you spirit please tell me more Spirit, please tell me more. Okay, thank you. Okay, bad habits, drugs, addictions, toxicity. Be careful who you smoke with or who you drink around. I know y'all yeah, hear that a lot, but um, just be careful because I'm feeling like somebody might, you know, be careful. <laughs> 
if it's not your stash, don't be smoking on everybody's stuff when you out and you having fun this summer. You know, of course, also watch your drinks and whatnot. I see a lot of you guys don't smoke, you don't drink. You you know, you're I don't know, you're into a healthy lifestyle. You also that could be another thing. This person could also drink a lot, smoke a lot. They do a lot of um, drugs and whatnot. I don't know. This person could have gotten their surgery canceled because they do drugs. They couldn't stop smoking. I think somebody wanted like a boob job or like, I don't know, maybe a BBL, tummy tuck. That's another thing to note. A lot of those plastic surgeons, they're going to make you stop smoking, hand smoke weed, hand smoke cigarettes and drug test you the day before and the day of. <laughs> so, you know, some people done paid for that stuff and then they got their surgery canceled that or they tried to do it like the next day after their drug test came in and then they end up screwing themselves up almost dying on that table because they can't put those certain habits down they'll tell you that certain things just don't mix so yeah somebody could have gotten rejected for something because they weren't in good health maybe you guys they could feel like okay two things they're trying to keep up with you that they keep getting rejected from they might be trying to find a job because they see you working making money they feel like they're never able to find a job i feel like this person don't got a lot of work experience maybe they're i don't know some of them could be trying to work in the parks or they just can't find something suitable for where they can make money that or they could have gotten rejected from, like I said, I don't know, some sort of surgeon and they wanted to do something because you did it or, you know, <laughs> or they could feel like they always get rejected from men or other women when you you guys get a lot of acceptance. Sarah, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. Yeah, we got hooked here. Yeah, somebody feels like, yeah, they're, they're like hooked on you. They really can't stop watching you. They feel like, huh, this could have been someone you knew from years. This could have, like, I don't know, you guys could have had a brief relationship. You guys are obsessed. This person thought that they could have you hooked on them that's another thing i'm saying here but you weren't hooked on them you actually could have just let this person go and the fact that you you won't tolerate mistreatment that's another thing here uh yeah innocent playful carefree children joy comfort pleasure familiarity sensual delights this is how someone sees you and they're hooked on you. They feel like you got a playful childlike essence to you and they want to come towards you because they feel like you're their escape. They also felt like, I don't know. <laughs> Teamwork, and this is coming out under rejected. Teamwork, collaboration, apprenticeship, focused effort, growth, learning, mastery, recognition. They feel like they are getting rejected from any sort of job or teamwork. They feel like they uh, every time they try to make friends, somebody turns on them. And it's this it's not always people fault because, you know, I don't be down for that. If that person don't have friends, it's on them. Some people who are empaths attract a lot of narcissists, but I'm saying for this person, it's the opposite. Like they're a narcissist and they're attracted to empaths and those empaths always break free from them. That or they're just very competitive and they attract other girls who are competitive. They're not their real friends. They do stuff like trying to screw each other's mans and then they end up like there's no teamwork here. Somebody also wanted you to be rejected from some sort of collaboration, some sort of teamwork, or there could have been some play here in the job field where people could have tried to sabotage you and sabotage your career or which and whatnot. And um, 
people are now realizing what someone did to try to sabotage you. And these people are wanting you back at this job or this specific thing you were rejected from. Somebody here could regret rejecting you because they let someone else get in their head about you. Spirit, please tell me more. I'm going to take this card because it's sticking out. Okay, yeah, and this is coming out under bad habits. We got the nine of pentacles here. Somebody feels like they're, somebody's bad habits might be getting in the way of their um, luxury, abundance, elegance, luxury, self-sufficiency, and independence, material security, rewarded efforts. Somebody here could have started some extreme bad habits. They could have started putting that stuff up their nose because they thought it was going to help them lose weight. And then they could have gotten addicted to it and they could have lost everything due to their bad habits. And when I say everything, I mean even custody of their kids, to their looks, to their mind. They're losing everything due to their bad habits. This isn't just like uh, marijuana here. These people are doing some hardcore, they got some hardcore addictions here. And people are starting to notice that. Somebody could have lied and said that you have hardcore addictions. You know, some of you guys can make little jokes about putting stuff up people's nose or up your nose. I like making <laughs> jokes like that, but I don't, I'm not real. And it's funny because, you know, I, I can't would tolerate a lot of uh, substances outside of a little alcohol here and there because, you know, ooh, I don't even smoke. <laughs> I, I have back in the day, but I realized that it's it, it it brings me more anxiety than relaxation. I understand other people. It relaxes your mind. It helps you connect to spirit. I'm not against it. In fact, I'm not against anything because I'm like, they all come from plants. And I feel like, yeah, all of them, even down to the stuff you put up your nose that come from, everything comes from a plant, not just marijuana. I feel like the real problem with every type of addiction, even stuff that isn't substances like sex and food addictions is when <laughs> addiction comes in when you stop taking care of yourself and it starts hindering your health and hindering the way you live your life. Like I believe some people can do it. They can, you know, have casual intimacy and then some people can't. Some people can smoke, other people can't smoke without spending up all their money or giving them acne, increasing the saboom. You know, this person, you got to know your limits personally, like <laughs> with everything. But this person here, um, uh, yeah, that or this could be a wealthy person and people aren't realizing that they had bad habits or they could have swept their bad habits under the rug because they felt like this person had a lot of money, but they felt like with you, maybe like, I don't know, you guys probably couldn't even enjoy a drink without people scrutinizing you at some time period. Take that how it Spirit, resonates. please clarify. Love triangle. Spirit. Oh, there we go. Love triangle. I said, Spirit, please clarify, love triangle. And we got the two of cups here in reverse. We already know that's a bad couple, a bad relationship, unstable, uh, un, uh, says disagreements, unstable relationships, disharmony, distrust, separation, division, tension, breakup here. Somebody might be thinking that a threesome with you could save their marriage. Somebody might be, I don't know, like uh, blaming you for the disruption that's going on in their relationship. Somebody here might also be using you to make their partner jealous. They know that you get under this person's skin, so they might like to casually bring you up, like, and it could be anything. They're like, oh, you know, the collective um, got their toes done the other day. I like how they had those brown toes. That was looking sexy. Like they do and say little things to get underneath their partner's skin. 
which is not fair. And um, because in the upright, it's unified love, attraction, relationships, partnerships, romantic entanglement, shared understanding. A lot of people are these uh, couple or this third party. They're not having a shared understanding here. It's like weird that somebody is on some weird ish spirit. I was just going to say clarify cyber bully. Yeah, imagination, inspiration, exploration, extrovert, fresh ideas. This is the page of wands here. Somebody rather beef with you than get your inspiration. Somebody wants to, I don't know, ask you how you're doing something. Maybe you are growing on some sort of platform or you do get a certain type of attention and whatnot. And instead of asking you, um, how you do it. They want to try to manipulate you into bringing them into it in a negative way. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Or they want to um, downplay, excuse me, gas. <laughs> and that was like acid reflux. It burned for a minute. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Uh, they want to sort of invalidate what you're doing so that you lose the inspiration to do it. They want to try to downplay it. They're like, oh, I like the little hashtags you use and blah, 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 blah. Or you're into that. Don't you think you're a little bit too old to be doing this? Like, I can understand if you were, they're thinking of ways that they could get underneath your skin but they also know it's not going to work i feel like a, if you guys see this person no you don't owe them any conversation you don't owe them a hello they ain't gonna do nothing you could roll your eyes and keep it pushing <laughs> you don't have to talk to this person if this person is persistent with talking to you give a major attitude just that's what i do too and just roll my eyes because why if you need acknowledgement i'm like this is as much as i'm gonna give you you already know i'm ignoring you so why are you talking to me type of energy <laughs> here you don't owe nobody no space especially when you know they're a snake you don't have to and they, they might try to use that to start with you but they're going to use anything anyway to try to start with you oh well i try to say hi to the collective the collective didn't talk to me you know oh no, no conversation i'm pull some angel numbers then we're going to close this reading out divine please give me the best angel numbers for this reading i'm taking this because it's sticking out that's the six spirit please give me the best angel numbers for this reason reading okay we got six three four i'm gonna look that up four has been coming out a lot you guys could have been seeing four a lot Sorry, I don't know why I'm straightening it out, making it all perfect. Hold on, let me look it up. Angel number 634 encourages you to see yourself in a higher light as your true self. The angels are helping to boost your self-esteem and self-belief as your divine mission requires that you be working at your most brilliant. Use your natural diplomatic abilities and communication skills to overcome any perceived op obstacles and challenges. And remember that they present in the, our lives as tests for us to pass. Our angels and spirit guides send us messages of general guidance, comfort, and in times of needs, warn us when we are off course or in danger and point us to the point us in the right direction. That's it. Thank you guys. I love you guys. And hopefully I will see you next time. I got to start up, start uploading a little earlier. I've been on my late-ish.